Thanks. Grazie. Arigato. Merci. Spasibo. Aquiem. There are many ways to express gratitude. Many reasons to be thankful. Family, friends, food. Love, laughter, life. Music, miracles, mercy. Chocolate. When everything is good, when life is running smoothly, when the road ahead is straight, when the sun is shining, when I have everything I need and some to share, when I feel that God is smiling upon me, thank you comes easily. But what about the other times? Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Wait, all? What does that mean? When I can't pay my mortgage, give thanks? When someone I love is terminally ill, give thanks? When people talk behind my back, give thanks? When my child drives down the road to self-destruction, give thanks? When I can't find a job, give thanks? When it takes everything I have just to get up in the morning and face another day, give thanks? How? Sometimes we must choose to be thankful, have a heart filled with gratitude in everything, whatever happens, no matter what. Why? Because that is the will of God. He wants us to thank Him, not because of the circumstances, but in them. Look above instead of around. Remember what Jesus did for us. Understand that Christ bore our sin, sickness, and sorrow, and give thanks. He freely gave of himself, so give thanks. He died that we might live, so give thanks. In joy, success, prosperity, yes, but also in pain, fear, grief, confusion, frustration, suffering, disappointment, loss, give thanks. Because Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, cheer up, be confident, have courage, I have overcome the world. So recognize that this is temporary hardship, this trial, this affliction is not the end of the story. And give praise to God. Gracias, sheshe, danke, asante, mahalo, thanks.